Hey, we're the mass holes. We're on the West Coast. We're the West Coast. Mass holes. We're the mass holes on the West Coast. We were from mass. We were holes when we're there, but we came out here and now we're West Coast mass holes. Hi, everybody. Uh, welcome to West Coast mass holes. I'm Todd Anderson and I'm here with Josh Wingate. And we're gonna delight you for 15 minutes here on the internet. We got he's he's at uh, he's got he's in Joshua Tree, and I'm in my own <laughs> garage. <laughs> What's great about my virtual background is it's literally on the other side of a door that I'm right next to in reality. So you could like just go over there, but instead you take a picture of it and put it in your virtual background. Yeah, this is like a okay. last minute thing. This is a background that I use for uh, 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 my favorite shitty movie, a show, a show I do. But uh, it's the only photo I had. Oh, on so this is a crossover mode. This could. This, this is, is crossover. A crossover this episode is like, here. yeah, this is like when Magnum PI uh, was on Simon and Simon, and Simon and Simon were on Magnum PI. Yeah. Do you remember that? Do. You do you? You froze. What? No. Was that like the first crossover? I don't know if it was the first no, crossover. I'm not frozen. You froze. Shut up. I I was uh, I I don't know if it was the first one. It probably wasn't, but it was definitely the first one that I was aware of and excited about. I was very excited about. And it had to do with there was okay. like a little. Uh, I like. Uh, like a tiki a tiki doll or something. That that was the MacGuffin, you know in the episode brady bunch yeah but it wasn't the brady bunch that was that was different that, that was i'm talking about brady bunch. giants no it's not yeah it's the curse not. the curse of the little thing the no i remember that was brady that bunch. was a two-parter brady bunch when they went to hawaii <laughs> i remember that that's not yeah what i'm talking about mm -hmm. this was magnum pi and simon and simon together had their own difficulties with a possessed t tiki doll or something it, it almost made so it was a triple Holocaust crossover. Crash. It was Magnum PI. It was Magnum PI, Simon and Simon, and Brady Bunch all together. Holy no, shit. No, the Brady Bunch was not there. They weren't there. And it wasn't. It, oh. Anyway. I mean, I, I, I don't So Brady what? Bunch did it first, probably. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, that makes sense. Brady that Bunch are the originators. Yeah. They, well, a lot, they broke a lot of ground on that <laughs> show. They really did. Uh, and. Uh, yeah. And and I guess you're right, Magnum P.I. and Simon Simon, I guess, borrowed from the Brady Bunch, but maybe they made it better than the Brady Bunch did. Maybe it was more exciting because the, the Possessed Doll yeah. it, at the end of the Magnum episode of the two episodes, because, you know, it started with Magnum and it went to Simon and Simon. And at the end of Magnum, TC's helicopter got all wonky because the, the Possessed Tiki thing was in the helicopter. Close call. Oh, wow. Well, it's called. So then it, did it become, was this like the origin of Chucky? The origin of Chucky? I, no, there was no, mm -hmm. there was no serial killer dying in a toy store who put a spirit <laughs> into a doll. That's, that's totally different. I don't know why you would. <laughs> oh, okay. You're mashing up mythologies and you're going to confuse everybody. Uh, you're confusing so me. So Danabelle. No. It's not Annabelle. a conjure. It's not in the Conjuring Annabelle. universe. It's stop. Why do you think it's in the Conjuring? <laughs> that would be cool though. If in one of those freaking <laughs> movies, if Patrick Wilson and and uh, uh, what's her face, help me out. The actress, Formiga. Uh, Vera. 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 Thank you, Vera Formiga. Uh, uh, if they had in there. Yeah. In there in their creepy room, if they, had, if they had a shelf with all these possessed tiki dolls from the TV shows, that would sex be, with the doll. That'd be a nice uh, Easter egg. You you want to have sex with a doll? Is that what you just said? That would be kind of cool. Yeah. You, you want to get? No, are you, no, are you no, saying no. you want to get a life size? I'm one of trying to help finish your sentence. Life size sex dolls? You're going to get one of those? No. Re no, why not? not really my no, you can take it you can take it to sporting events and because it's it not a real person you get to sit right next to it you won't have to social distance you can sit right next to it 
Yeah, but I'm double vax now. Got the full. Ow, that's still sore. <laughs> Where, <I> got, <laughs> the, <laughs> where'd you just get it a few days ago? When'd you get it? A Monday. Yeah, today's the first day I feel pretty good. So you felt, felt like, like shit. Ass, or as the kids talk about these days, I felt like dog water. Yeah. Oh boy, because I'm. I'm getting mine next Thursday, but there's a possibility somebody might want me to work on Friday. So would you recommend that I reschedule uh, my shot to after the job? Or do you think I can handle you? Were you Pfizer or Moderna? I was Pfizer. I'm, I'm Moderna. I don't know what to do. I'm at a loss. I, um, I was uh, not feeling good the next day at all, but did you um, run a fever or anything? Yeah, I wasn't feeling. I had hot flashes and body aches. Everything hurt. My toenails hurt. Oh, everything hurt. My earlobes. Everything was just like achy. Yeah, yeah. And I slept during the day and not at night. Mm -hmm. Oh. You you were up all night and then um, you slept. Or I could do the job for you. Okay, I mean, I really need the money. Mm -hmm. Th that's the issue. Would you give me the money? Well, I'll give you. I'll give you five percent. I'll get. I'll give. I'll give you like a manager cut. You only pay your manager five percent. No, but you <laughs> don't really qualify as a manager, so I'd give you a manager cut. <laughs> a cut of a manager's cut. I'd give okay. you a finder's fee. No, I'd rather, <laughs> yeah. I'd rather, uh, I'd yeah. rather work sick. You know, I'd rather work sick. I'm just gonna, uh, I'm, I'm gonna figure out. I'll figure it out. I don't know what's gonna happen, Josh. It's all up in the air. I don't even know if it's real. Like that's yeah. the thing. It's like they're like, maybe we'll want you to work that day, but we don't know. Maybe are you available? Well, yeah, I'm available, but I have a feeling I'll be feeling like shit because I got, the, I'm getting the thing the day before. So if you could tell me. Every, everything's always a maybe in our particular mm. line, Josh. It's never until it suddenly yeah. happens. It's all like, eh, maybe, oh, mm, clear your schedule for maybes, you know. And I really want to get the shot and I want to get it over with. I want to have my two yeah. days of feeling like shit and then move on. And then and then my son is going to be eligible uh, uh, for one, uh, for a, a Pfizer shot, I guess, uh, sometime in the next couple of weeks. Mm-hmm. And so by midsummer, my whole family will be completely vaccinated, which will make any kind of like trip. Like if we go to Joshua tree or whatever, it'll make it a lot more relaxed and fun. I think. Yeah. But you generally aren't a relaxed or fun person. So. Well, I have a hard time relaxing. It's true. And people, what do you mean? I'm not fun. I mean, I think I'm fun. Mm -hmm. I might be wound a little tight. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I can Well, what can, you should do in Joshua Tree is we got a fucking huge latency right here. Like I'm watching you and then you're sitting there and then you're responding like 10 yeah. seconds later. So what you guys should do in Joshua Tree is that you should eat a bunch of psychedelic mushrooms and you'll be fine. What what Five, four, three, two, <laughs> one. See? Five second latency. Why are we so laggy? What the hell? Why is it why does it happen like this, Josh? It's weird. I don't it's know. It's weird. We should <laughs> Oh, that was only I don't know. Maybe that was two seconds. Yeah. I, I don't I don't know. Huh? I the problem is all on your end, clearly. Because you're using a phone, Probably. you don't wire. If you wired a computer, we wouldn't have these laggy problems. It's it's all your fault. No, fuck that. I have the five G upgrade. Your lazy ass got Moderna, which isn't even five G. That's like fucking iPhone one status and shit. <laughs> my, I don't know. Right after I got my first shot, I swear I saw Bill Gates. I did. I saw him. Mm -hmm. He like appeared mm -hmm. as like an apparition yeah. for a second and then he disappeared because it was only one shot. When I get the second one, then he'll be there.
hundred percent. Oh yeah. Then you can just go tap, tap, and he'll be like, Vroom. and it'll appear. Yeah. And then I can, I can ask him how the divorce is going. Are you going to, you going to try, try call, Boy. try calling Boy. the former Mrs. Gates? Going to try calling her, seeing, seeing what's up with her, seeing what she's doing? Yeah. Cause I think she, I think she left him because she, yeah, I think she left him because he's doing acts against humanity by putting these chips in us. And she's oh. like, I can't get behind that shit. So oh. She's the true humanitarian. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I was more talking about dating, you know? Yes, rest of the world. Well, no, I'm 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 a happily taken man. Well, I mean, but she's this is a wealthy woman. She's uh, you know, I I, I yeah. think I think uh, your lady might money it, money doesn't buy you happiness, Robert Anderson. Uh, speak for yourself. Every time I get money, I feel happy. Yeah, but you're a simple man. I am a simple man. You know what I I saw? I was riding my bike. I was like, oh, I got to tell Josh about this. It's riding my bike. I saw two, two brand spanking new just out of the amazon packaging trump 2024 flags two there's two of them in my neighborhood what do you think of that i don't i don't even i honestly don't even know what to say about it to be honest with this like i just like rest of the world i need i need the rest of the world to open up the borders for decent human beings that are from america i know it's hard to believe that they exist but we do and we could be really good you know contributors creatively and artistically to your society we probably could fit in nicely into your socialistic governments like denmark norway something like that Norway's really good to creatives and artists. They'd probably even pay us to do the shitty show that we do. And, and you know, I think Norway, you should open up your borders for people like me and Rod Thomas Anderson. <laughs> I'll go, I'll go. <laughs> sure. There, someone's going to pay me to do this? Fantastic. I will absolutely, absolutely mm -hmm. do it. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. Um. Mm -hmm. I got, I got a question. Do you, does it scare you that that's happening in my neighborhood? Because in my neighborhood, I'm constantly reminded that this stuff isn't gone. And I feel like a lot of people right now are either, they're like, ha, what a joke. And like not taking it seriously. And, oh, that's ridiculous. But I do take it seriously. And it, and, uh, it concerns me greatly. Well, it should be concerning to everybody else because of the vote count. Of the, of vote, the vote count? count. And um, yeah, it should concern. I mean, over 70 million people voted for that person, if you could even label them that. Um, so that should be concerning. And it would not be the first time in history in which someone won two separate one-term pre presidencies. I think it was it Grant or one of those guys when one didn't and then one again. So it would not be the first time in history and it is feasible. It is feasible that he could win again. And that is scary. Yes. Just, it seems um, like something that, that, that everybody who's not a Republican in our government should be uh, aggressively trying to uh, tamp out, you know, like a, like a campfire uh, at the end of the night. You got to get it out because you don't want to start a forest fire. Mm -hmm. So they should be tamping this thing out, I think. We used to, we, yeah, we used to urinate on it at night. So we should, what you're saying is we should urinate on Trump. Yeah, yeah. 
I, I would urinate on one of these flags, but unfortunately they're up a flagpole and you're not, it, you can't piss up a flagpole. <laughs> so here's the question. Do these, uh, um, do these people, or if you could call them that, have uh, ring doorbells or security cameras? Uh, I don't know. I didn't look very closely. I was on my bike riding by. And, uh, and my general rule about when I see something like that is, oh, that's George Sakai telling us to shut up. But when I normally, when I see stuff like that, uh, I don't stop and uh, ask questions. I, I just, I go quickly past. Cool. So, so anyway. Because I'm wondering if you could take a bottle of lighter fluid and spray it on the, the, the rope that's on the flagpole and then take a Zippo and, and, and watch it go up in flames. I mean, I could. That or sounds, is that considered arson? That is arson. And in a place like Simi Valley, I could uh, uh, start a, a wildfire doing something like that. And, uh, and, and then I would go to jail. I don't, I'm not ready for jail. All right, option number two, wire cutters, clip the flag drops, you take it and then dispose of it, uh, you know, um, uh, ecologically. Hmm. Hmm. But then I'm, I mean, I'm still destroying somebody else's property, which is vandalism, still illegal. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, I don't. I, I I'll think. Listen, about it. the world needs good bad guys too. World needs good bad guys. That's true. Uh, maybe it's my time to become a bad guy. But uh, let me think on that. Uh, I'll see. I'll let you know next week uh, what 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 happens. Okay. Uh, do you want to say uh, anything to uh, the Nazis? Fuck you, Nazis. There it is. Fuck you, Nazis. You Nazis. We'll see you next time on West Coast Massholes. This has been a Blursh production. Blur.